So would you rather be first to a party or last? We've decided today we want to be first. Joel and I are fishing with our good friend Jeff Brule. He's a veteran of fishing the Pearl River system, which is the river that borders Louisiana and Mississippi. Well, we got a bunch of rain this spring, and the Pearl's been sky high. But for the last 10 days or so, it's been bone dry, and the water's falling like a stone here. Now, it's still definitely stained, but our plan for the day is to work some drains, see if we can catch some bass, also target goggle eye. I've had some great trips for goggle eye with Jeff on this river and let me tell you these things get massive here. They look like triple tail. So we're really early. The sun's not even close to coming up yet and Jeff and Joel are already throwing buzz baits and frogs along this shoreline. I'm eager to get in on the action. So let's see what happens. Oh look at you. Doubling up. All right, success. We're not gonna get skunk today, are we? You want these fish or you let them go? I'm debating. Man, that's the eating size if you're gonna yeah. keep them. Yeah, that's... yeah, I'll throw a Texas rig. Gotta be some of that drain, huh, Jeff? Yeah, gotta be. Oh! <laughs> I mean, I, I can grab one. <laughs> Dude, I got a ton of them in there. Do you? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna switch. There he is. That's a nice fish. Second cast with a borrowed buzz bait that Jeff loaned to me. Solid black with a white trailer. So Jeff, I'm guessing you're throwing black because this water's a little stained, correct? You want darker colors with darker water. If it's, it was clean, clear water, I'd tell you throw like a watermelon or a lighter color. Like a red shad's good. Black with red flakes for your plastic or blue flakes. If anything dark, way out. Baby. Yeah, he was out. But there's grass out here. Yeah, we'll drop something. Buzz Toad. Hey, mine's the lighter, so. That's for sure. You got the clacker in there. Oh, yeah? No, it's just a headband. A headband. Like Ozzy. Your headbanger's scaring them all off, Joel. Yep. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Puglia Sporting Goods. Today's supposed to be the last windy day. Wind's supposed to die next eight to ten days yeah it'll be hot you gonna mosey yep this is where i'll go up I heard it. <laughs> yeah, he got smoked. Did you feel it? Yeah, I did. I heard him. That's Don't like the water's really moving out of that drain, huh? Yeah, some of them are gonna be good, some of them are gonna be bad. Yeah. Dude, some lady came in yesterday. She's like, "Do you have a bait that's called crappie?" Crappie? I said, "Well, <laughs> I mean, we have crappie bait." I'm like, let me go show you. So I go show her. And uh, I said, we have Mr. Crappie brand. She's like, well, I just want crappie. I'm like, well, we don't have a bait that's more crappie. So she's like, let me go ask my husband. So she comes back like five minutes later. She's like, oh, I figured out what it's called. She's like, it's called Shad. <laughs> <laughs> Not crappie. It's called... Do, like, you, well, do you have Shad? Man, we don't have uh we do have some dehydrated shad <laughs> in a bag and dehydrated shrimp bluegill shell cracker there you go uh -oh. way to bump on the jig 
False alarm. False alarm. All right, so the day started with a bang. We picked up four or five bass really, really quickly, long before the sun was even up, but things have slowed down a bit since then. No more bass, but we did put a few panfish in the boat. But we just made a big move. We're gonna start hitting some drains coming out into the main part of the river and see what we can do. We're definitely not giving up on the panfish yet, though. It's kind of the goal of the day to catch some goggle eye. We're just kind of on an exploratory mission. Believe me, this area has not been hit at all by hardly anybody for the past few weeks. So hopefully we can start setting the trend. There's one. There's a fish. Nope. Nope. Better than that. Nope, not. He's a fat, chubby fish. He's yeah. just not big. No. You don't want him, do you? Get him, Joel. What you throwing? Crankbait? That's not a bad fish. You might want that reaction. Yeah, there you go. All right. Right in that drain. Yep. Did he thump it? Yeah. There he is. There he is. Right. Uh -uh. <laughs> Not bad. On the Kashan Delay Matrix Hog. Look how fat these fish are. Yeah. Short, stubby, stocky fish. Boom. Yeah, definitely some mixing water, huh? Yeah. It's quite perfect, yeah. Well, that didn't take long. That up. Uh, that weight's got to be wedged. I didn't, didn't set or anything. No, not the bow. I think never, I never was. Except for that time. <laughs> it always works. That's BS. It frequently works. No way. That does not. Yeah, it does. That's exactly right. Well, you I just don't know how to do, do, it. do it. But every time I. Got him, got him. <laughs> he missed him. I missed him. He freaking came off. Man, that water's flying out of here. <clears throat> we finally found our moving drain. Yeah. Not a fricker. Man, I had a good one. <laughs> They're always good when they get away. Go side to side to side to side. <gasps> you got my yow. My yow. Keep going, keep going. You got him? Yep. That's a double. That's a double. He's not big, but no, not take that back. He's getting bigger. I should really take that back. That's not a bad fish. That crankbait's making me a little nervous. Joel likes to play him. That's a good fish. Rain, baby, rain. Crankbait Texas Rig. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Matrix Shad. And by Fitzgerald Fishing. And by Seto New Orleans. And by Versamax Quartz. And by Death Grip Jig Heads. Oh, God. Got him? Damn. There he is. Another double, Joel. Like Yours came off. Yeah. I tell you, this Cachon Delay color is... It's so good in clean water, but it is dynamite in staying water. You got thumped? Yeah, this one's not as impressive looking as the other one, huh? Yeah. The other one was what you were looking for. Yeah. Falling 
like a stone. Yeah. yeah. Which one we get for you there, Jackson? No, it's not a good one. It is a fish, but it's not a good one. It's not bad. I mean, it's not good. That's really not good. I don't know why you... They're fat. They are not long enough. Oh, God. Oh, look at you. Now, he was on the front, huh? Yeah. Well, but he ain't big. Nope. Jeff's going to be liking him when it's dinner time, though. Yeah, I'm going to keep a couple more and I'll be done. Oh, that's a fish right there. Look, it never even stopped. Oh. You missed him? Man, he had a good takedown. Good takedown. No, he didn't take it down. He, just... yeah, he took it down. You're just mad because you missed him. <laughs> <laughs> That should be, that should be money. <laughs> yeah, he's over eager. <laughs> Beginning angler. There he is. Oh, God. oh there we got him. I'm talking big. It might be a catfish, I'll tell you what. It might be a goggle. Don't lose him, Joel. Oh, there you go, shell cracker. No, it's a, it's a big old brim. It's a nice brim. On the mini. On the Matrix Mini. Good, Jeff. Oh, 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 dude, you got slammed right with Jeff got him. That's another bluegill. There he is. I want the Patasa grub. Feels like a nice fish. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's a keeper. All right, so we've probably jumped the gun just by a few days. This place is about to bust loose. The water's not quite right yet. It's getting close though. Still, we're putting a good number of fish in the boat. No big bass at all. I don't even think we have a two pounder, but we got good numbers without doubt. And at that last stop, we put a few panfish in the boat as well still no goggle eye they've still eluded us i think we've gotten a few bites on bass gear you get that hard tap you set the hook and it's nothing there kind of feels like a goggle eye but so far none while we're targeting them still this is a fantastic day catching fish a variety of ways that rhythm We just pulled up. First cast, Jeff catches a goggle eye. I didn't even have the cameras running yet. I'm getting myself all set up. We finally got a goggle eye. Mission accomplished. Fish on, fish on. Oh, that's a bass. Yeah. So Jeff, you're swimming that bait? Yeah, I'm just swimming it real slow. Speed crawl. Yep, it's just something to cover some water. You know, we're trying to find something, trying to cover some water. All right, there's no doubt about it. We caught fish a variety of ways today. It's hard to say that any one pattern was substantially better than any other. Some patterns were not good, but the ones we were most successful with included the following. I caught almost all my fish on this Kashan Delay Matrix Hog. It's a new bait. It looks just like a baby brush hog. I've got it on a 4 aught wide gap hook with a 3 8 ounce tungsten bullet weight. And of course, I've got that all in about a 5 foot fluorocarbon leader tied with a shins knot to my braid. Now, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you know I'm fanatical about matching the rod to the style of fishing I'm doing. And so my flipping rig is this 7 foot medium heavy Fitzgerald all purpose. It's what I use for Texas rigs. I just absolutely love this rod. It is perfect for the style of fishing I do. And of course I got that team with my Luz Tournament MB. This particular reel I've had about 
three or four years or so, this thing is just bulletproof. It's one of those reels you just forget about. You just don't even think about having problems with it. It never backlashes. I just don't have any trouble at all with this reel. I really, really love it. Now, Jeff and Joel did some different things. Jeff spent a lot of time today targeting panfish, and he caught a good number of panfish. Now, by his own admission, and look, Jeff has fished here all of his life. He knows this area like the back of his hand. The goggle eye fishing should have been a lot better today than it was. All right, so Jeff ended up catching a fair number of goggle eye, throwing a speed craw, just kind of almost swimming it. Not quite swimming it, just picking his rod up, but fishing it more rapidly than you fish a traditional Texas rig. But still, sometimes this place can just get eaten alive with goggle eye, and it's just very, very easy, and you catch some monsters. Today wasn't that day. I don't think it's quite right yet. But Jeff's saying probably in the next week or so, it's going to be incredible in here. And Joel had great success as well, throwing a Cotton Cordell Fire Tiger crankbait that he picked up in the bargain bin. I think it was 98 cents. He definitely got his money's worth out of that one. No big fish, but a whole lot of numbers on that bait. But trust me, he will never catch another fish on that bait because he threw it high up in a tree. <laughs> So it's gone. It was donated to the Pearl River. Well, if you live anywhere near here, get to the Pearl sometime in the next couple of weeks. You want a below 10? Yeah, the Pearl, uh, the Pearl River, the Pearl River goes you want a below 10. All right, Jeff says, ideally, you want to fish the Pearl when the Pearl River gauge at Pearl River is below 10 feet. That's when it really gets prime. But looking at the forecast for the next 10 days or so, there's not a whole lot of rain in it, so it should be pretty good. Well, hopefully you enjoy the video as much as we enjoy shooting it. Always fun getting out with good friends. And of course, Joel, who is out of school, and will be appearing in a lot more videos this summer. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson.